Morgan Amber here, aka I Hate Morgan, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, baby. Now, today's video is going to be a shopping haul, so if you guys are interested, then please stay tuned. And I know, I know, my fucking hair it looks crazy. This is a result of a bad dye job done by me. <laughs> So I'm going to actually insert a picture of the look I was going for and then the look that I got. I mean, it's not awful. I mean, I think I can pull it off, but um, I think I'm definitely going to go in and rejudge this whole thing. But uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my page if you haven't already. And also turn on your bell notifications so you know when I post a new video. But without further ado, let's get into this haul baby so right. we're gonna start with our little brown bag first all this stuff came from bloomingdale's um they were having their uh loyalist loyalist um 25 off sale and then like every time you spent a hundred dollars you got 25 dollars. so i was like sign me up <laughs> all right so first thing we got hold on i haven't taken this stuff out since i got home But you guys know, first things first, I had to stop by the kale stand because I was, um, I'm pretty much out of my cleanser. So I got my cleanser. I've told you guys about this already, so we don't have to get into too many details about that. Um, yeah, I've talked about this in my favorites. I talked about this in my skincare routine. So yeah, you guys know about this, but this is the latest addition to the kale's family, which is the avocado eye cream i had a little sample of it and like i said i like to try out things before i buy them this eye cream was one of them i tried it out for a week and i really really liked it so i went back and i got the the bigger the biggest size like i said this was 48 dollars. i'll have the prices for everything uh listed on the screen or down below so you guys know if you guys are interested so if you guys are interested, then you guys can purchase them and you guys know what the tea is. All right, but yeah, we just got some skincare products first. Hold on. Oh, let me get a thumbnail. I might get a different thumbnail just because like I feel like I already have like a skincare product thumbnail. So anyway, this is what I got from the kale stand. All right, so next we have our medium brown bag. And da 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 da. This is actually something I got from my mom. I was being nice today, so I treated her to something, but I'm gonna still use it anyway because it's fucking cute. Um, she was gonna get a shirt, but then when she saw the bag, she was like, Oh, this is really cute. And I was like, Yeah, get that instead because now we can share it. So it's this really cute Kenneth Cole reaction bag, and I think it's just like the perfect spring bag. Um, as far as I'm concerned, big bags are out. I'm literally obsessed with little bags and i just think this is so cute and adorable and it was only like 78 dollars. yeah 78 dollars. really cheap well not cheap but it was an affordable bag it's nice quality and i just thought it was super cute for spring it's my mom's but it's mine too <laughs> she just doesn't know it yet Oh my God, I really needed that wine. So, so, so good. So, 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 so good. What's your guys' favorite kind of wine? Comment down below and let me know what your favorite wine is. Last but not least, we have another medium bag. This was my major splurge item of the day. Um, it was... $228 and this will be a cute thumbnail hold on guys let me get my thumbnail all right guys so this has my I've been actually plotting on these sandals for like I would say about two weeks every time I go to the mall well every time I go to Bloomingdale's because I literally don't make it past Sephora so it's literally I just go to the mall for literally Sephora, Bloomingdale's and Forever 21 because the Willow Grove Mall kind of sucks no offense I still go there but you know I literally only go there for Bloomingdale's but I've been seeing these for a couple of weeks now I've been plotting on them and originally I was going to get the beige pair and I even put a poll on my Instagram and I'll insert that there I don't even 
even know which one won, but once I tried both of the colors on, my heart was just telling me to get the drum roll, please. Da -da -da. Ta -da. The pink pair. So I think these are super cute. These are the Tory Burch sandals. And honestly, they're worth every single penny. Like if you guys could feel the quality of this sandal, it's totally worth um, the money that I spent. I think honestly, it's a trick. When you start getting high end or nicer items, you cannot go back to getting, you know, uh, cheap, sh cheap shoes, cheap anything. So once you get, it's just like, all right, when you get your first, you know, set of bundles or whatever, you'll be like, damn, my shit is flowing. I cannot wear Remy no more because it's just like, once you introduce yourself to quality, you don't, it's hard to revert back. But these are really, really nice. I really love this color. Like I said, I originally was going to get the beige. I still might. But um, when I put the pink ones on and it looks so cute, um, I was like, I have to get the pink. It's just something about this seashell sea pink that's just so elegant and chic to me. So awesome. I'm going to be like, can't stop, won't stop, 10 white toes, and much away flip flops. <laughs> these are bomb though. I love these. Um, yeah. And that was everything I got. So all in all, I spent close to $400. So yeah, pretty much $400. It was like $380 something. So yeah, but um, I ended up earning some cash back. So I will be back in that piece Tuesday when all my points kick in. All right, guys. Thanks for watching my haul video. If you guys want to see more hauls and give me a reason to shop, then comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching.